And now, the number one Thanksgiving moment of all time. Clint Longley shocks the skins. If there's ever an incredible NFL example of 15 minutes of fame, it's Clint Longley's. Every man has to have his day, and Clint Longley had his on Thanksgiving. Entering Thanksgiving 1974, Dallas was having a forgettable season, but arch rival Washington was fighting for home field advantage in the playoffs, and the Cowboys-Redskins rivalry was at a boiling point. Well, I mean, as a Redskins fan, George Allen was warm, nice. Don't worry about that, Mike. A little bit quirky. And uh, Landry was, I don't know, the devil, basically. Darren Talbert actually came out and said they were going to knock Roger out, and then they went ahead and did knock him out. Dallas fell behind 16-3, and in the third quarter, Roger Staubach's goose was cooked. Back then, when Roger Staubach went down, something was drastically uh, wrong in Dallas. Roger Staubach took every single play. Roger Staubach was a tough guy. Roger Staubach never came off the field. Without Roger, I mean, Roger was everything. But the only thing Dallas had left at quarterback was Clint Longley. And when he came in, it stunned everybody. And here he comes, the mad bomber, Clint Longley. Yeah, who the hell is Clint Longley? Clint Longley took over, a rookie from Abilene Christian with no previous professional experience. The Redskins probably never heard of the guy. I still have no idea who Clint Longley is. No one had heard of Clint Longley. You know, against someone like the Redskins, there's no chance they're going to win a game. Didn't even have time to pinch myself. You know, you just go on in there and start throwing. And this little-known quarterback started throwing bombs. And I think basically it, it was throw it deep and hope. He knew he had to take his puncher's chance, and Longley had a big, strong arm, and he was going to give him the chance to throw the ball downfield, and that's exactly what he did. You know, I felt like the time I was a gunfighter with a football. If there was somebody open, I could hit him. I think when he came in, the opponent let down, thinking, <laughs> cakewalk now. Oh, yeah. When, you know, when Roger went out, it's like, yeah. As Longley started the comeback, and as you watched, you think, no, 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 no. I could watch the tape of that game, and I would bet against him on tape to do it. With 28 seconds remaining, Dallas trailed by six. Before you could say candy yams, Longley hit Drew Pearson with a 50-yard bomb. The touchdown completed the unthinkable comeback and landed Longley at the top of our list. That last touchdown to Drew Pearson was something that just came out of, of nowhere. It was incredible. And you know Drew Pearson was always good to make the clutch cap. But from Clint Longley? Oh, my goodness. From who? As for Clint Longley, even if he never completes another pass, they'll always remember the one he threw on Thanksgiving Day 1974. If that one game made me immortal, okay, but I, I mean, I didn't mean for it to be that way. But Longley soon became as welcome in Dallas as sushi at Thanksgiving. Longley decided to start picking fights with Roger Staubach. We got in a little skirmish after practice one day, and a few days later he did something to me. He hit me from behind. And as a competitor, uh, I, I wanted to get him. I wanted to go after him. And he went looking to fight him. Roger Staubach. Roger Staubach, how can you make Roger Staubach that mad? I want to meet this guy. Bad career move. Bad career move to hit Staubach. He messed with the Redskins that day, but he found out later that you probably shouldn't mess with Roger. And next thing you know, they trade him away to San Diego. He's gone forever. So that was his moment in the sun. Well, thanks for the great moment. It was made for a great Thanksgiving. Uh, sure wish it had lasted a little longer. And don't hit Roger Staubach. Okay.